As we all know, React is the most commonly used JavaScript framework for developing interactive web apps. But since it's a view library, it does not come up with the techniques to build design that are responsive and are very intuitive. In order to overcome this, we can use Bootstrap, which is a front-end design framework. So in short, while React actually um, big, uh, React act, act as a framework for building web, applica web applications, Bootstrap on the other side, which is the popular CSS framework, can power your website with the features such, such as the responsiveness, etc. Let's see how we can use React within our apps. To do that, let's first browse to the react-bootstrap.netlify.app. Basically, um, a link will be provided below the video. And this is the site we are, which, uh, which provides us the package to, uh, of the Bootstrap, which we can use within our app. To install, uh, you can just follow the guideline, which is provided over here. I'm going to actually install the package using the command, uh, command line. I'm going to first copy this. Um, CMD, I'm going to go to my directory structure, then to the app. Um, let's clear it. Um, my app. Then, oops, CD, my app. Then over here. Now we're just going to, we are going to copy this, copy and paste. Uh, over here, this particular command to save my time i have the react uh, this package already installed and the way you can actually check it is by going into your package.json so i have the react bootstrap uh, package already installed now i'm going to show you over how you can use it within your app uh, the first thing is that you need to actually import the css style sheet in order to import that it's uh, pretty simple um, in fact, I can first show you the location and then um, you can learn a bit about it. So in the node modules, you will see a folder with the name bootstrap. Let's just locate that uh, bootstrap and distribution CSS. And over here, we are going to have bootstrap dot minimum dot CSS. So basically that is the location we are looking for and we're going to import that. Um, so you can just type in import bootstrap slash distribution slash CSS slash bootstrap dot minimum dot CSS. Now, once you have that, uh, that means we have imported the CSS. Now let's just create a class component in order to actually learn through how we can use at least the rows, columns, or I mean, just to build out the structure. And later on, you can use the documentation to learn more about the components. So um, let's just go to components and call it bootstrap.js and I'm going to use my shortcode react class component with export. I'm going to remove that. Uh, we'll change a bit over here and that should do the job. I'm going to first import it, um, import bootstrap from dot um, components slash bootstrap once that is done let's try and use it um so let's see uh whether it's functional or not so this is functional now we go back into the bootstrap component um let's first actually uh import it uh, import uh, i want to import the container container then i want to import the row and column you, you can reference that from the layouts uh, so because it's it's then easier to just see which items are avail available to us so container is available then you have a row and the column from and it's like a react dash bootstrap so once that is done we're going to import the component as well. That is the button. So react button from, uh, uh, that's like react bootstrap slash button. So whatever, let's suppose the items are available, you can actually view them over here. So we're going to use the buttons for now. Uh, firstly, the layout, let's talk about it. So we go, we will go uh, visit this site and over here and browse to the grid in fact, 
and let's try out something from over here let's just copy and paste this and see how it goes so container within a container we have a row and then one column so that is our structure to check whether this is working or not we can oh in fact wait it's not saved okay now it's visible you can check we have a container and then a row and one column uh, we can further test this by having this sort of a structure and just copy paste you can obviously uh, play around with it in order to actually use this uh, framework um, so now if we go and check it um, it shows us a different sort of a structure you can even use custom classes very much similar to what um, earlier it was shown to you class name uh, let's say we want bg1 over here and we want bg1 is the background one color and bg2 is the background two color so we'll go into app.css and we'll type in okay i already have defined bg1 and bg2 could be let's say red color for now and see okay so as can be seen the custom classes are working so the next step is um, to use the components which were present where you can browse to components and to the buttons so there are multiple uh, options available to us in the button you can just copy and paste uh, from over here and try and ch um, check them out so I'll just remove them and one column and let's try and see how because i've already imported the button that's why they are working so primary button secondary button success warning danger so as per whatever variation you want to use you can use them over here next is you can even use outline buttons and tags and even all of them so depending upon what is it, whatever is your need you can use uh, those components of the boot, uh, bootstrap so that's how you can use Bootstrap within the React 